So let's now recap on what we've learned in this module. As we discussed, the principles of authentic learning are based on the theories of situated learning and cognitive apprenticeship, in which it is argued that students learn best through situated learning in which the activities are coherent, meaningful, purposeful and situated within the practice of the relevant professional culture. You were introduced to Harrington Reeves and Oliver's framework which addresses nine principles of authentic learning and outlines a number of characteristics of tasks that align with these principles. That is, tasks should have real-world relevance, be ill-defined, be complex, provide opportunities for examination from different perspectives, opportunities for collaboration, opportunities for reflection, opportunities for integration across different areas and beyond the immediate domain, integrated into assessment, they should be valuable in their own right and provide for competing solutions and diversity of outcomes. So this module then provides an excellent segue into our next module focusing on effective feedback and assessment. And of course, authentic assessment is indeed one of those strategies we can adopt to ensure our assessment aligns with the learning outcomes, learning objectives and desired graduate attributes.